So this is common yew, Taxus baccata, and it's familiar to a lot of people. You tend to associate it with churchyards and design landscapes and those sort of things. So yew's been around for a very long time, and it's one of our longest lived species. You can find yew trees in the UK landscape which are thousands of years old, not hundreds of years old, but thousands of years old. Um, in terms of being able to identify it and distinguish it from some of the other conifers, I think it's relatively straightforward. If you look at the needles, they're broad and they're flat and they're relatively widely spaced and they have a very distinct, quite firm point on the end of each of them. If you look close up, you can see this little yellow-brown point on the end of each of them. Uh, yew timber tends to be highly prized. You tend to get this beautiful contrast between the creamy white sapwood on the outside of the tree and the red uh, brown swirling colour of the heartwood, the timber that's at the heart of the tree. Um, some issues with you to be aware of, particularly around people and around livestock. Uh, the foliage of you tends to be toxic to most livestock, most browsing livestock. And later in the year when this actually produces its fruits, you'll see a translucent red outer fruit, usually about 8 to 10 millimetres tall. Um, that fruit case around the outside, that soft jelly-like red structure isn't actually toxic but it holds in the center a dark green black seed which is definitely toxic to mammals so it has some toxicity issues that are significant and we need to be aware of but it's still a very significant part of the UK landscape very beautiful and as I've said it's one of our longest lived species it can last thousands of years so it tends to have a permanence about it which has um, in the past led to lots of cultural significance and value being placed on the yew tree in English history.